Well, hello and welcome back to competitive multiplayer. So, it is now October. We have our cows. Our tractor's here. And Dex said he had a little surprise for me. I think I can guess what it is. Yeah! We have a harvester with a farmer scythe name on it now. But it is baby blue. I think we might change that at some point when we get a toolbox. Anyway, for now... Let's go and take it back to the farm. We then need to come up here and do some weeding. And then we're going to need to do some... What are we going to need to do then? We're going to need to do some uh, mowing and tedding and rowing and baling to make some hay for the cows because they're not going to make some themselves. So I'm quite looking forward to that. But first of all, I'm going to take the uh, the harvester back to our farm and then park it outside the shed where there's no risk of me running over the crop and destroying some of it. Although at some point I will have to make uh, some sort of concrete or asphalt around the, the shed so we can get in and out of it nicely, nice and easily. Right, I shall see you back at the farm. Alright, so here we are back at the farm. Just going to pop this over to one side here after crashing it into a tree multiple times. But if I pop it over here to one side and switch it off, then we are all good. This crop is coming along very, very nicely. Expected yield 63%. Fantastic. Uh, so what I need to do now is go and get the tractor and come down for the hoe. There we are. So I also want to take the tanker down because every time we go down, we should be getting a load of water for the cows. Just so there isn't, it isn't a wasted trip. Oh. We can't do that. There's a barrier there. Let's go the way you're supposed to go then. So yeah, the idea is to make as many hay bales as I can out of this grass field, this meadow field here. Uh, put some of them in for the cows to eat to keep them going and put the others in a sell point to make some money I don't know how many bales we'll get out of this I'm hoping it'll be quite a few uh, at least sort of six maybe at a push if I can and that'll be six of the biggest bales I'm, I'm only going to go for the 180 centimeter bales so well here's hoping anyway that's the goal. I've also got my little grass patch down the bottom here. If I do need to add to the grass when it is fully grown. I don't anticipate it being fully grown until December time. Uh, right. As we don't need this straight away. Because we won't be able to take the hoe and the water tanker up at the same time. Just pop it over here. There we go. And we will pick up the hoe. We need to go up to our other field. Uh, and then we will have to come back for the mower. Ah, yes, it's a bit light on the front, isn't it? I forgot about that. Let's pop the weight on. In fact, let's take the front loader off as well, because we don't need that just yet. Uh, there. Lovely stuff. Ah. Oh. Two appear to be stuck. There we go. Lovely. Right, yes, yeah, so as soon as we have used this hoe, that can then go back, because it is rented, so it can go back to the store, and we can look at... Well, we'll get the mower to start with. 
we'll go and mow the grass. And then we will look at getting a tether and a windrower. And I imagine we'll be able to buy one of them and rent the other one. I would say that was the plan anyway. But in the meantime, we need to go and get our first, our second field weeded. That's the goal for that. Right then. So that's what we'll do. We'll shoot up there. Get the hoe working. And then we'll catch up when all that's done. There we go, a beautiful weed-free field, I think. Let's just double check it. <sighs> Missed a couple of little bits up there. Not ideal. Let's go get them. Why not? There we go. Got him. Okay. Superb. So, that's worked out pretty well for us. In fact, we will just return the weeder now. There we go. Weeder returned. And then we need to focus on the grass field. So what we need to do is go down and get the mower and come back up with that to start chopping it away. And the mower is positioned inside our shed. Which I think I think is quite accessible still. We'll keep the front weight on. I've uh, given up on the idea of bringing the mower back on the front and having the water tank on the back. We'll just get some water with the water tank a little bit later on but yeah the uh, the goal today then is to going to be to get the grass cut tedded windrowed and baled put a few bales into the cow enclosure and then sell the remainders do you know what? I was thinking, actually, if I get four out of that field, I think I'll be happy. It is only a very tiny field. Here it is on the left here, 104, just after the car park. Yeah, it's just behind those trees, and it is, it is tiny. I can't imagine being meadow grass, it's going to yield that well either. But... Well, I mean, we shall see. If we have to keep them all for the cows, we have to keep them all for the cows. It's... No big deal. Um, at least we will have the equipment to continue again next year. Not next year. I mean next grass growth period. We also have the grass field down the bottom here, which I would I wanted to get cut. And as soon as that's ready, in fact, as soon as this field is ready, sorry. We will get it all ploughed up together into one field. And we will...
Hmm. Yes, I've got a bit of a bit of a problem here. Right, let's see if we can push this out the way. Uh, hmm. Yes, I've got quite a bit of a problem here. I'll tell you what. Let's put the front weight over here. We'll pick up the front loader and fit it. Move the grass seed out of the way. Or move the seed out of the way, I should say. And we can get the mower. Hmm. It's the first time I've been in here. Not bad. Quite nice, in fact. Right, let's get the seed. Yeah, there we go. That can go over here. Same with the pallet. Hmm. What have I done here? Oh, come on. Right, this would be better from third person. Yes. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Shift the pallet over. We'll have to start putting equipment in from the end until this is harvested, because I don't want to destroy any of the crop. And when it's harvested, we can then put some more asphalt or concrete around. Alright, get rid of that. And then we can back in and get the mower post, post, there's a post there. Oh, I found out what all these little crosses on the ground before, by the way. Uh, they are to put in different, um, like, tables, desks, that sort of thing, to make it all more realistic. Right, if I can... Oh, I can't back out that way, can I? Fool. Uh, what I can do, though, is maybe drive through here. Yes, there we go. Smashing. Literally. And I want to put the weight back on the front because, well, it seems that this tractor is remarkably unstable, even with a little feather or something on the rear. So, after all that palaver, here we are, ready with the mower. Uh, it shouldn't take too long at all to get the, uh, the field mowed. I'm hoping. And then it will be a case, like I said, of tedding, rowing, bailing. At least we've already got the baler. So it's, it's only a tether, tether and a windrower that we need. Which, um... Hopefully we'll be able to get fairly cheap. we we'll go for the smallest versions. It's such a small field that we don't... We really don't need anything bigger than the smallest options at the minute. Of course, if it looks like it's going to be £11,000 each, or ten, close to £10,000 each for them, I will have to rent this time. Or maybe buy one of them and rent the other one, I don't know, but... Hmm. We're going to need to pay this loan off as quickly as possible as well, because... We're going to be incurring fees for that. Right. Uh, let's get it unfolded. There. Oh, no, I don't want to put it on a worker. What am I doing?
There, that's better. That's a me. Want a worker, waste money on that. <clears throat> right, I'm going to crack on with this then. And we will get it done as soon as possible. I will see you when we need to try and find ourselves a tether. Well, as you can see, I think based on the yield map, there is not a lot of chance that I'm going to get as many bales as I wanted out of this. Uh, right, I think I will leave this. Oh no, I won't leave it, I'll take it back, because the next field to be cut will be the little bit down by our other field. So yeah, we'll take this back and then we'll go and have a look at getting a tether. Alright, there we go. That's in there at a funny angle. We can still get to the baler. Let's have a quick look. Uh, ooh, the sail. That's always a good place to look, isn't it? Oh, not as much in there as normal and certainly nothing that we need. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I was hoping for at least a tether or a wind rower. But never mind. Let's have a look in here. Uh, tethers. £7,000 for that pottinger. Which is small, but that's okay. 4.4 metres. That's not too bad. And then the wind rower. Are we good? Was that one for 5,000? Hmm. Well, 5,900 for a 3.4 meter one. That would be okay. So if I bought this tether, hang on. No, we don't have anything else. Okay, so if I bought this tether, I'd still have enough money to rent the Widrower. Anything else in here? Nope. No, 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 no. Nothing else. Yep. So we own the tether. But we are going to have to rent the Widrower. Okay, I'm going to go pick it up from the store and then I will see you back at the field. Alright, here we are. We'll get it unfolded. Gosh, that really is small, isn't it? <laughs> That's okay. It's still not going to take too long to do this field, given that it is so small as well. But that's okay. We will... Crack on. I think the... Uh, wind rowing is going to be even slower, but at least with the wind rower that we have in mind, we create quite big swaths. So, the bailing will be a lot shorter. So we'll be going round, round one way and then the other. Uh, well, I don't think this will take too long at all. Let's crack on. And then purchase or rent a windrower to continue. It's better than the places I have been. Well, there we are. There it is. Nicely tethered. Didn't take too long at all. Now, it looks like I could actually go down this way to get back towards my farm, which is quite cool. 
so. Oh. It might be a pedestrian only bit. Oh no, 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 there are stop signs. But let's not worry about the pedestrians, shall we? Right. Pop this back in the shed. And then we will have a quick look at what we can do with a windrower. come at it from back here. Might be some more room. But this is now ours and we do want to keep it. There we go. That will come in very, very handy in the future. While we're here, let's just pop down and have a quick look at our grass field, see how we're going. Yep, yeah, it's growing. It is growing. Second growth stage. Oh, it says ready to harvest. So yes, it should be fully grown next time. Which will be just fantastic. We will be able to add it to the bales that we can sell. Although we will probably end up selling those this time anyway. Okay, I would love to be able to buy a windrower, however, there is none in the sale. And where are we? There is none for the right amount of money. So we will rent this one, or lease it, I should say. £300 seems reasonable to me, given that we'll be using it for less than an hour. So three hundred pounds it is. Hey, if we uh, manage to sell at least one bale today, we might be able to pay five thousand pound back of the loan. Slowly but surely, we'll be able to get it all paid back. I see Mr. Dex over there towing something around his field. like he might be seeding or grass cutting or something oh look at look focus on what I'm doing not on what he's doing here we are this is our little windrower for the next hour anyway be better if I actually lined up with it so I could pick it up Okay, let's take it up the field and give it a whirl. a little bit to do up the top, top that we've missed up here and then that's it so I've been doing some thinking in my quiet time 
Uh, if the other field is going to be ready very soon, then there's no point in returning this quite yet. We should really keep hold of it. It's really, it's minimal cost. I probably should have done the same with the tether, to be perfectly honest, but it's done now. We own that tether. And that is going to depreciate faster than you can say buy buy money as for this though it is leased but it is cheap and we are going to put it in our shed and we're going to use it on the other field as well right time to mow down some more people here uh, missed but next of all, we need the baler. And this is where we find out exactly how well we've done off this grass field. Because I think... I, I reckon two of the big bales should get us through winter. For the, with the, for the cows. And anything additional to two bales... Can be... Uh, where shall I put this? Let's just put it here. Um, yeah, anything additional to the two bales can be sold. Like I said, I'm hoping to pay at least £5,000 off the loan. That would be absolutely amazing. If we could do that today. Right. Like I said, moment of truth. We are set to the 180 centimetre bales, so fantastic. We have got 60% of a straw bale in there. Now, I hope that that converts to hay and doesn't end up being a bale of straw. Because if so, if it ends up being a bale of straw, we will have wasted some money. But if it converts it to hay, we'd have gained money. So I'm hoping that, that is going to convert it pretty sharpish. I'm a little bit worried that it's over 50% and won't convert it, but... Hmm. Let's hope. See what happens. Bale is quite heavy with 60% of a bale in it. tractor's doing really quite well actually to be honest to be the only tractor on the farm it is doing really quite well I long for the days when we will be able to buy a bigger tractor yes it's converted it fantastic so that 60% straw is now going to be hay and going to be worth a lot more money So that brings our first bale out pretty quick. Which will undoubtedly roll off down the hill. Oh no, that's good. It didn't. Superb. Actually, I think, well, based on this, we're going to have a lot more bales than I thought we'd have, which is fantastic news. I don't really want to rent a trailer, if I can help it. Um, so I'd prefer to go and sell them on the forks, but if it's a long way away it, to the um, to the sell point, it might be worth renting the auto load trailer. Just a small one, nothing major. That's two bales already. We are doing well. Right, we'll catch up after this time lapse to find out how many bales we've made in total. Right, so the fast counters amongst you will notice that that is five bales. Uh, we have 
a little bit left so we're going to switch down to the smallest bale size to hopefully get a few more out now we are going to be cutting our little field down the bottom so it really doesn't matter if there is some left in the um, in the baler which there is likely to be but I think we can squeeze a little bale out of this anyway that can go into the cow pin pen as well which would give us three to sell and two and a little one to put into the cow bale now the cow enclosure oh the little one's rolling off fair enough Okay, that was better than expected. Let's just mop that bit up there and these bits here. And we will take the baler back to the yard. And when we've taken the baler back to the yard, we can pick up the front loader, the rear weight, and the water tanker. Fill it with water and bring it back. Because I think you can connect the water tanker to the back of the rear weight. And if I'm wrong, I can put the, the weight on the front and, uh, and the water tanker on the back anyway. So... I've never been wrong before, except for all the times that I've been wrong. Right then. We've got a good chance of making a decent bit of money at the end of today. From three bales of hay, three big bales of hay, each containing about 9,000 litres. Uh, let's get this put in at an angle. There we go. Right, I've already got the weight on the front, in fact, so if we can connect to. Uh, what shall I do? No, let's put it on the back. Otherwise, we'll only get in a mess with the front loader. And even though mess is my middle name... Well, not really, but, you know... I don't really want to get into a mess. What we need to do... Is water the cows, feed the cows, and sell some bales. Right. There we go, that's better. That's out of the way. That's me nearly driving in the field. Let's not do that. Right, can I connect this? Hmm. I cannot. Right then. Plan B. Plan B is a good plan. That was always my plan. Plan A just got in the way. Right, let's get this filled up with water and then we'll head back up to the field. Okay, here we are with a full tanker. Let's open the gates, swing around into here. And then the first job will be getting the tanker emptied. I wonder if we'll be able to see any water in the trough this time. We couldn't last time. It was too little, the amount of water. Excuse me, cow. Can we see any water in the trough? 
Nope, not yet. Maybe tomorrow. Each day we'll be filling it up a little bit more. So this is the time we filled it yesterday. Uh, do you know what? They're hardly drinking anything at all. It's only four cows, to be fair. And they're hardly drinking anything. Okay, let's... Leave this and drop that off there. That will be taken back to the farm for some more. Uh, right. We'll lower the weight down here. Take that off and put it on the back. And then we'll give the cows some feed. Starting with the small one, I think. The small one being only four and a half thousand litres. I think the bigger ones are nine thousand. Which is cracking. I am pleasantly surprised with the amount of bales that we got from that field. Yes. Texture's gone back to hay instead of grain, which is fantastic. It's the first thing I noticed when I loaded the game up is the uh, texture in the cow trough there had, had changed to grain, which is a bit weird. wonder if it's confusion with a chicken feed tank or something. But now it's hay again, so that's brilliant news. Right, as for these, let's get this one over in the edge here and get that in, in the trough. 9,000 litres. How are the cows doing now anyway? So yeah, they've got quite a big trough. We could fill that even more if we wanted to. But I definitely want to sell three bales at least to make some more money. I don't... Oh, crikey! That may have been a miscalculation. I don't think the cows are going to eat this bales very quickly at all, or this hay very quickly at all. Oh dear. All over the place. Right, let's get this dropped in here. There it is. Um, yeah, I mean... Five percent towards puberty so far. We're not going to have little calves running around in any time soon. And these cows do not appear to eat too much. Let's stick another bale in there. And then anything we make off the other field and this field next time could probably be sold straight away. We can judge last thing I want is for them to run out of food and us not have any available, so... That... Is going to be how we do it. As for selling the others... Hey, 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 there it is. Oh, it's got to be Animal Dealer. Price is reasonable. Where was the Animal Dealer? That was up. Up? No, it was over here. That's where we're going. We've got to get three bales there. Hopefully, I can do two at once and then come back for the third. At least that's the plan, if this weight is still 2.3 tonnes as it says it was. rolling away now. Well, let's see if I can get both on anyway. 
one there. And one there. Right. Weight-wise, it seems okay. Let's give it a go. And try and get over to the animal dealer. So, £100 per thousand litres. So, each of these bales should give me about £900 then. So, I'm expecting about... Yeah, 1,800 out of this, so it's not as much as I thought it would be, but at least it'll allow us to pay off 500 pounds of... Uh, 5,000 pounds of the loan. And if we slowly chip away at it like that, we'll eventually get there. That's the, uh, that's the goal, anyway. It's already half four, look. It's gonna get dark soon. Golly, Dex is down in field 98. He's been purchasing fields. And he's just abandoned his mower at the side of the road. Hmm. Luckily, when we come to do our other grass field, hay will be worth a lot more money. Good lord, he's got to abandon his bailer up here too. Right, here we are at the animal dealer. Oh, crash through the gateway there. Right, first two, here we go. There we are, 1,866 pounds. 66 pounds more than I, and I guessed that, but that's due to the price increase of per bale or per thousand litres so actually now I can repay five thousand pounds of the loan which takes us down to one thousand two hundred and ninety seven well that's five thousand pounds off the seventy thousand pound loan which is ace let's go and sell the other bale off the field and then we'll be able to cling on to a little bit more money overnight. Oh, bit of a lag spike there. Right, I'll go get it, and I'll see you back at the animal dealership. Right, and here we are with the final bale. Back at the animal dealership. Let's get rid of that green. There we go. Put the bale down on the floor and back away. And there we go. £935 from that bale there, which is fantastic. Once again. We have done pretty well today. Pretty darn well. But it is late. The dealership's closed. Otherwise I would have got this... set up repaired on the way home. Oh. Dex is on the uh, wrong side of the road there. Well, oh, he's off for his bailer. Doing well at the minute. There's billboards everywhere. God knows where he came from. Oh, the dealership has reopened its gates. Well, allow me to go in and repair my tractor. Not just the tractor. In fact, it's probably not even the tractor. Okay, let's have a look. Tractor's not bad condition, actually. Ah, that's pretty poor. Repair the front loader. Repair the weight. Not bothered about paint. But there we go. 
much better working condition now. £33 that cost. Not too shabby at all. Alright, well, let's get out of here before they do close. I think they close about 7pm actually. Looks like Dex might be cutting grass and making hay bales at the minute. In a field down by the edge of the river here. Yep, there he is. Right, well. We've done good today. And the fields have got a step closer to being able to be harvested. It's a shame that it's only 63% yield but I suppose that's because it will need it needs lime and it needs um, plowing but we will get it plowed next time I will rent a plow because we do want to join these two fields together anyway that's it for today thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon bye for now